Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn Class 6, Chapter 3, HF and LCM Unit Exercise. See the first sub now. Classify the given numbers according to their divisibility. See the numbers 972, 5500, 14560, 45873, 1780. Now these numbers we have to separate them according to their divisibility. We know divisibility for 2 is in 1's place either 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 should be present. See the first number here 1's place 2 is there. Here in this number here 1's place 0, here 1's place 0 and in this number 1's place 4 is there. So these 4 numbers are divisible by 2 so we shall write in that column now. 972, 5500, 14560, 17,190,184. Now let us see divisibility for 6. Divisible by 6 means we have to check the given number both whether they are divisible by 2 and 3 or not. So, already 972 is divisible by 2. Now, let us check whether it is divisible by 3 or not. Divisibility for 3 means sum of the digits must be divisible by 3. Sum of the digits, see here, 9 plus 7 plus 2, that is 18. 3 table, 18 is divisible. So, 972 is divisible by 2 and also divisible by 3. So, it is divisible by 6 also. Next, see sum of the digits for 5500, 5 plus 5 is 10. So, 10 is not divisible by 3. So, this number also not divisible by 6. See the next number, sum of the digits is 16. 16 is not present in 3 tables, so it is also not divisible by 6. See the next number. 45,873. When we add these digits, we got 27. 3 table 27, 9 times divisible. This number is divisible by 3 and it is not divisible by 2. Therefore, this number is also not divisible by 6. Now, see next number, sum of the digits is 30. When we add all these digits, we got 30. That means this number is divisible by 3. And this number is also divisible by 2. Therefore, 17,90,184 is divisible by 6. Now let us see divisibility by 8. 14,560, 17,90,184. These two numbers were divisible by 8. The last three digits when they are divisible by 8, then the entire number will be divisible by 8. See the next one, 184. 184 is also divisible by 8. Therefore, the entire number that is 17,90,184 is divisible by 8. Now let us see divisibility for 9. Divisibility for 9 is sum of the digits must be divisible by 9. See here, sum of the digits is 18. So, 972 is divisible by 9. Here, sum of the digits is 10. Here, sum of the digits is 16. So, these two numbers are not divisible by 9. Next, see sum of the digits, that is 27. Therefore, 45,873 is divisible by 9. See the next one, sum of the digits is 30. 30 is not divisible by 9. Therefore, only these two numbers are divisible by 9. Next, see divisibility for 10. Divisibility for 10 is in units place 0 should be present. Therefore, 5500, 14560, these two numbers are divisible by 10. Now, let us see the second sum. See the second sum now. Write the divisibility rule by 11 with one example. See the solution. A given number is divisible by 11. If the difference between the sum of the digits at odd places and sum of the digits at even places is either 0 or multiple of 11. We can understand this definition by seeing the example. Is 
1,221 divisible by 11. Now, let us see the solution. Sum of the digits at odd places. Odd places means first place, third place, fifth place, seventh place, so on. So, 1 plus 2 that is 3. Now, sum of the digits at even places that is second place, fourth place, sixth place, eighth place, so on. So, sum of the digits means here 2 plus 1 that equals to 3. We have to find their difference. So, 3 minus 3 is 0. Here, this answer must be either 0 or multiple of 11. Then, the given number is divisible by 11. Since here difference is 0, the given number 1221 is divisible by 11. See the third question now. Fill the table with correct answer. HCF of any two consecutive numbers is 1. Any two consecutive even numbers is 2. Any two consecutive odd numbers is 1. See fourth sum now. Find HCF of 70, 105 and 175 by prime factorization method. Now let us see the solution. 70 is given. 5 table, 5 ones are 5, you will get a carry 2. So the number is 20, 5 fours are 20. So 14 we got, 7 table, 7 twos are 14, 2 table, 2 ones are 2. Now take 105, 5 table, 5 twenty ones are 105, 7 table, 7 threes are 21. 3 table, 3 ones are 3. Next one, 175. 5 table, 5 threes are 15. You will get a carry to, now the number is 25. 5 fives are 25. So, 5 35 sir, 175. 5 table, 5 sevens are 35. 7 tables and ones are 7. Now, let us write the factors. 5 into 7 into 2. 5 into 7 into 3, 5 into 7 into 5. Here common factors are 5 and 7. So let us write the common factors here. 5 into 7, 5 sevens are 35. Therefore the HCF of 70, 105 and 175 is 35. Today we have seen third chapter HCF and LCM. Unit exercise 1 to 4 sums. In the next video, we shall see remaining sums. Hope you are like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.